Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video I'm going to go over how to run different commands on the Arduino without using the Nextion.h library. I've had some questions on my um, YouTube videos on how to send this command or how to send that command. The big one has been how to send a text to populate a text box. and I'm going to get into that in, that in this video. First, I'm just going to go over some basics of the Nexion display. I have a simple setup here. I have a slider, I have the number box, and I have a text box here. I've added a timer and a value, or a variable, I mean. And if you notice on each one of these, some of these commands over here are in green. And the ones in green can be changed while the program is running. In our case, we're going we're gonna to focus on this one where we can change the height of this in the middle and we can change the background color. We're running this timer every 400 milliseconds, so it's gonna change every 400 milliseconds. And every time the timer changes, we're gonna start at zero, which will reset this box back to here and we're gonna move it across there. And then of course we have to increment the variable every time also. And you can do that by just doing plus plus. You could do VA val equals VA val plus one, or you can do VA zero dot val plus plus, and that's the variable right here. And if you notice, we have it set as a number. We'll run this in debug. As you can see, it moves across the screen. For the text box, if you want to change the value that's in there, you do T zero, but instead of val, you use TXT. And then you put, we're going to put hello in there. And now I'm going to debug this. And you can see we got an error here. And that's because text needs to be in quotes. And it does require double quotes. If I use single quotes here, and I compile it, we get the same error. But if I do double quotes, it works just fine. No error. Now when I run debug, this is going to change from empty to hello very quickly. There, see it changed to hello. The other thing we want to do is we're going to increment this value every time. And this is just like the ho.value. So n0.val will set it equal to the variable.val. And you can see it increments too, just as that's going across. Now for fun, we're gonna change the background color of this and the width of this slider. And you do that, if we look at this, the BCO is the background color, and it's currently set to 1024. And we're just gonna increment that. And then the, the width of this slider, when you set it to 255, it just leaves it the value, the maximum value that it can be. It's like a generic setting but we're gonna set that equal to N0. So it'll start at zero and it will get wider as it goes across. I'm doing two of these because I'm not sure if the color will actually show through on the video. So I wanna do something that also displays size. So we'll go back to the timer. In order to get to those, you still use the HO. And for some reason it's HIG instead of height HIGH, but that's what it is. And we're also going to set the, the background color. Oh, and in this case, instead of equal, we're just going to do plus plus. So in other words, it's going to take whatever the value is. Oh, it's not BC0, it's BCO. And it should change the color. And you can see that this is slowly getting larger and the background color is changing. Now I'm going to switch over to the Arduino and we're going to send the same commands from the Arduino to do the same steps. I have this set up using a Mega, so I have two serial ports, serial, the main serial port and then serial port 3. If you have a Nano or something, you can use the same serial port 
you can use this generic serial port on it, but you have to pull the wires when you go in between them. So for this video, I'm using a Mega. The other thing you could do though, is if you had an Anno, you could use um, software serial port. I have a video on that, and I'll put a link to that up here in the upper right if you want to go back to that. But for right now, just understand I'm using a Mega. We're going to use this main serial port for the programming where we're going to send the, when I upload the file. And then we're going to use serial three to write to the uh, Nexion display. And for this case, I'm going to use the Nexion display in debug mode, and we're going to connect to it through a serial port that's like the USB to serial adapter. And we're not going to use any libraries for this, so all we have is we have a counter that we'll be using. Just like in the timer, we have the variable down here. We're going to use a counter. So every we were doing 400 milliseconds down here. We're going to use 500 milliseconds on this one. If you've seen my videos before, there's a standard format I use. And I always end with this, writing these three FFs. You have to send the FFs at the end of your string in order for it to function properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a text document. I'm going to copy these commands to that text document. And we're going to take this first one. We're going to set the value of the slider. And for this, I'm going to copy the commands over so you can see how I alter them. But you use print instead of write. And then it's a string, so you have to surround this in the quotes. But the Arduino doesn't know what BA0.val is. Instead, we're using the counter. So we're going to get rid of that. And the counter isn't a string, it's an integer. So we're going to add it and we're going to convert it to a string. So this this plus and this string counter, it's going to take the number 0, 1, 2, 3. It's going to convert it to a string and it's going to smash it. So it'll be h0.val equals 1, 2, 3, or 0. I'm going to upload this to the Arduino now. I think first I'm going to get this started in debug mode so you can see it happen right away. Now, I started this in debug mode and you can see that it's counting. I have to delete the timer or stop the timer. And you can stop a timer by just going to the timer and setting the enable to zero. Now let's start debug again. Now you see I have it stopped. We'll go back to the Arduino. We'll pull up our, our notepad up here and hit upload. Hope I have to start the capture. So in order to use this in debug mode, you have to hit this user MCU. Then you have to select the proper COM port and hit start. And you can see that this is moving across the screen. We'll go ahead and upload this again and it should start over. And you can see it went back. And that's how you send a value. The next one we're going to send is this text. We're going to need these same serial commands or these same FFs. But remember, we have to put this in quotes because it's a string. We're sending it as a string. But if we compile this now, we have multiple quotes within quotes. I'm going to go ahead and compile it. And we get a problem here because it's not going to compile properly. When you are trying to send a string with quotes in it, you have to use an escape sequence. It's what it's called, but really it's just a backslash. You put a backslash in front of it. And what 
when Arduino sees a backslash, it knows to send the next character as a character and not as as what it interprets it as. So the Arduino is normally looking for a set of quotes to denote a string, but in this case, once I put that backslash, it says, oh, even though I see it as a quote and I want to send that as a string, I'm going to send that as a set of quotes. I'm going to upload this now. And this started over and that changed that to hello. And the neat part about this debug mode is if you hit this into string, you'll see that it's sending the characters, they're incrementing, and it's sending hello. And these Y's are just that FF. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the value in this box. And it's going to be very similar to this value up here, but we'll cut and paste it. Let's give us a little space here. And let's cut these and paste these. And we do the same thing. Serial three dot write. Surround this in quotes or in uh, parentheses. And then we have to change this again. Hope that I'm clear on that. When I'm copying this VA, this is the variable that's on this display. By sending that, it doesn't, it won't um, register that that variable is there. The variable does exist, and you could set that equal to that variable value. But since we're not incrementing the counter, it would be set to zero, over and over and over. And I can show you that here that it does work. We'll set this, and you'll see that it'll count. Then we'll come back, and we'll just paste that in just like it is and you'll see it'll sit at zero and I'll also show you down here that it's sending the zero. Nope, I have an error. Oh, it's not right. This needs to be print. Ah, editor got me on this one. I'm sure he'll make some sort of wisecrack. Now you can see that this is counting and you can see that we get the seven, eight and these are back to back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send, oh no, if I send it, you'll see the VA val down here. But you'll see that it'll sit at, um, it'll just sit at zero. But in this case, you would just keep the value exactly like it is. For this case, we'll do it and delete that. We'll cut and paste this again. And we'll put it in here. And we'll upload this. And it just sits at zero. And to illustrate that a little bit more, we'll close the debug mode. We'll go back to the timer here, but we'll uh, get rid of most of this. We're going to increment this value, but I want to do it at a different rate than I do when I'm sending the command. So I'm changing my timer to 100. So this is going to increment every every 100 milliseconds. So this will increment a lot faster than my counter will in the Arduino. And so then when I send this to get this value, this value will be going up quicker than the value across here. But just, I'm doing this to illustrate that you can send it you can read a value off of here and it will work. And we'll start it. Sometimes I forget to start this and I'm sitting here banging my head against the wall because I don't know why this isn't reading properly and it's all just because I didn't start the, the thing appropriately. So now we need to upload this again though and get it started over. This is actually working right now. It's just that this has gotten so big that it's not going to expand anymore, and the number is so large it's just sh it's just shoved way over here. But when I upload it, it resets everything to zero. Oh, I forgot to enable the timer. Let's close 
close this, click back on the timer, enable it, debug. This will be interesting though because it, it's going to be in the middle of it, so VA val is going to be something. Oh, there you go. And you can see it's not going up one at a time, like this is moving across one at a time. Okay, so the next two are the height of this and the background color. And once again, I want to I want to point out I'm not using the library for this. I'm just sending straight serial commands, just like you would on the Nexion. Anything you can type on the Nexion display, you should be able to copy and put over here, and it should work. So we'll take this one first. And we'll copy this. And then we'll take this one next. Now this one is using that value, so we have a couple of choices here. We can either change the height based upon this, but the height would change so fast. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it the value. So I put quotes around here. Like I said, this way this will expand at a slower rate, so we'll be able to see it. I'm a little worried that if I use the if I use this value, it will increment too quickly. Now this command is easy because it's just surrounded by quotes. Now hopefully doing two at once I didn't mess something up, but uh, we'll go ahead and upload this now. Okay, and you can see that this is expanding, and hopefully you can see that the background color is changing. What's interesting too is since when I reset, when I reloaded this and sent it up, it reset all the variables in the Arduino. This went back to here, it started low, but you can see this right down here, the variable within the Nexion in this debug mode, it just kept going. So it's at a very large level now. I'm going to close the debug window and then just do a quick review. And what I did is I took these commands and I applied them to a timer. And they worked and then I copied them out of the Nexion so they work just fine in the Nexion and then I showed how you can duplicate those commands in the Arduino and anything that you can type in the Nexion you should be able to paste over here and send it up from the Arduino as long as your um, variables like if you have an integer you have to turn it up to a string it has to come through as a string value and in debug mode, other than using the real display, the nice part about that is it has that little screen down there and you're able to see the data that's coming in. So let's say I accidentally um, put this as the wrong variable or I added it wrong. It might compile right in the Arduino, but you can see in the debug mode the string isn't coming through correctly. The string that comes through in debug mode needs the string that comes through in debug mode needs to match what you're using in the Arduino or in the Nexion. So a good test is always to make a timer or a button to send a command. If it works in that command, it should work over in the Arduino. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.